spring, the traditional Japanese rice wine, sake, is ready to be bottled. But this year, every step on the production line was a challenge. An earthquake and tsunami damaged several factories in the northern region of Tohoku. Sales dropped. People didn't feel like celebrating. Wataru Sato, a fourth-generation brewer, found himself giving away bottles. But after a while, a resilient community spirit kicked in. Orders started coming in from all over Japan. People wanted to save their traditional industry. All the machines that you hear working were actually paralyzed for two months during the earthquake at this sake brewery. But things are slightly picking up here. And the workers tell us that they think it is a good sign for the Japanese economy. And this is a special one. Sato even produced a special batch of sake called Revival to mark the first anniversary of the quake. He says sake is the motor that will rebuild this area. Other industries are banking on post-quake solidarity too. Supermarkets have special sections for products made in the tsunami-hit communities. Toshihiko Sakasaki wants people to wear the Support Japan message. He's giving all the money from these t-shirts to earthquake victims. People are dining out at restaurants again. Tanadori Ito says, if we help each other, we will make it. <laughs> they may not be ready to toast in celebration yet, but the sake is flowing again. Monica Villamizar, CBS News, Ichinoseki, Japan.